Assassin's Creed Syndicate is poised to shake up the series with rope launchers, carriages, and other industrial age innovations. But seismic shifts are something Assassin's Creed has been comfortable with since the very beginning. Share your secrets with me. Every installment did its part to change and redefine the formula, and in this video series, we'll explore the unique touches each game brought to the table, starting with the first one. It's easy to forget just how many now familiar ideas the first Assassin's Creed pioneered. The simple free-running controls we know and love were a revelation in 2007. Series like Prince of Persia had let us climb and run up walls, but holding down a couple of buttons to effortlessly free-run through a medieval landscape was more beautiful, more exhilarating, and easier than anything that came before. It also featured a unique take on multi-enemy combat with an emphasis on careful timing and watching your enemy's movements. Altair could quickly dispatch enemies with rhythmically timed sword strikes, but the real fun was in waiting for your foes to strike and killing them with an instant counter. This simple move, while initially tricky to pull off, made Altair and his successors an absolute terror on the battlefield. Altair couldn't disappear into crowds like his successors, but he could gently push through them to avoid raising suspicion. To truly avoid scrutiny, though, he had to duck into hiding spots, sit on benches, or pretend to be a scholar, and that last one meant keeping his hands folded, his head bowed, and his walk slow. Eagle Vision could also help you dodge guards, but using it here meant standing perfectly still. Like its sequels, Assassin's Creed picked a unique setting largely unexplored by games. The Levant during the Third Crusade was rendered in lavish detail, complete with famous landmarks that you'd almost certainly get arrested for climbing in real life. Galloping across the countryside between its four medieval cities was a thrill, and making it all discoverable via viewpoints, climbing puzzles that unfogged chunks of the map and revealed nearby activities, made exploration a vital part of the fun. That openness extended to the story. Each chapter contained a set of narrative-driven assassination targets players could tackle in any order, with the caveat that they had to undertake brief side tasks beforehand to investigate their intended victims' weaknesses. We will have our new world. That's where Assassin's Creed began, but as you'll see in our next video, it set the stage for what the series would eventually become. Assassin's Creed 2 was a massive leap forward for the series, and next up we'll take a detailed look at exactly what it brought to the table. Until then, keep it at UbiBlog for more Assassin's Creed.